Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to show you how to load and fire your Traditions Percussion Sidelock Rifle. Before we begin, we always want to check and make sure that your rifle is both unprimed and unloaded. To check and make sure your gun is unprimed with your percussion gun, simply cock your hammer to the captive half cock position, and you can visually inspect your nipple to make sure there's not a number 11 cap on there. To check and make sure that the barrel is unloaded, simply take your ramrod and or your range rod and pass it down the muzzle until you reach the hash mark that indicates there's not a charge in the barrel. If that's flush with your muzzle, you know your gun is unloaded. If you're going to use your field rod, simply pass that down the barrel. And with this mountain rifle, the brass jag on the back comes about a quarter inch shy of going down into the muzzle. We're going to hang on to this for later. From this point, we want to check and make sure that your communication hole is clear of any debris or oil that might be in there from any cleanings or any else, anything else that you've been doing with your rifle prior to shooting. To do that, we're simply going to take a number 11 percussion cap, cock your rifle to full cock, hold your hammer, and just seat that cap over your nipple. From this point, slowly let your hammer down and back to captive half cock. This will make sure that the rifle doesn't mechanically fire and it captures the rotation of the trigger. Once your rifle is primed and your hammer is at captive half cock, you're ready to shoot your gun. After you fired your cap, go ahead and remove your cap from the nipple hammer area. Sometimes your cap will actually go up inside the hammer recess, that's fine, go ahead and remove it. And you're ready to load your gun. To load the gun today, we're going to be using 90 grains standard 2F black powder, Traditions 50 cal lead ball, and one of our pre-lubed patches. To begin your loading process, simply take your pre-measured powder and pass that down the muzzle. Be sure to pour all your powder into the barrel. Once your powder's in the barrel, take your pre-lubed patch and seat it centered over your muzzle and seat your bullet just inside the middle of that patch. If the patch is tight for any reason, you can trim it to increase and decrease the amount of pressure it takes to run down the barrel. Once you've started your ball into the muzzle, transition over to your ball starter and just push that down until the shoulder mates up to your muzzle. Once you've got your ball started down the barrel, about four to six inches, you can transition over to your range rod or your ramrod. And we're going to seat that all the way down against our powder charge. If you have your field rod handy with this full load in the barrel, now's a good time that you can run this down. And either with a Sharpie or a knife to scribe a line, just come in and take a marker and scribe where a full load would be on the ramrod. This will be used later for follow-up shots and any extra shots you have to take in the woods when you're hunting. At this point, you have a full charge in the rifle and you're ready to prime your rifle and fire. To prime your rifle is the same as when you cleaned out the communication hole. Simply rotate your hammer to the captive half cock position. Take your number 11 primer and seat it over the top of your nipple. Once your nipple is primed to fire the gun, simply rotate your hammer to the full cocked position and you're ready to fire.